Hey everybody, Stephanie here. So I want to make sure that you are completely ready when this Bitcoin matrix system launches. So not only are you going to create your Bitcoin account and create your blockchain account, but you want to link either a credit card or um, a bank account to your Coinbase account so that you can fund it on, on launch day and be ready to go. Now, we want to do this early in case you come um, into some glitches or find, find that you're having a little bit of difficulty, um, which I, like I did, I had a little bit of a problem, but you know, it took about an hour and I was able to resolve the problem, but you don't want to be ready to launch, you know, fund your matrix and be under the pressure of getting this done quickly. So if you do it ahead of time, everything will be great. Now what I've done is I've done a quick little video showing you the process that I underwent in order to get my credit card linked up with my account. So this is what you do. First thing you're going to do is go to, you're going to go to um, verify your identity. Actually, that's not the first place you're going to go. Hold on. All right, let's try this again. You're going to go into your account and you're going to go over to settings, which will be right here on the side. Once you click the settings button, you're going to go to the top and click payment methods. And then you're going to add your payment payment method. Click that button and it's going to give you the option of either um, linking your PayPal account, your bank account, or your credit card, debit card. I chose the debit card, but the process is all going to be the same. When you click that, then you're going to have to verify your identity. And if you click up the upload identity button, it'll start you through the process. Um, it's going to ask you to verify with a um, driver's license. So click the start verification and you can actually have your ID card or your driver's license. Make sure that you have the United States toggled if it's the United States. If not, then put your country in there and it will walk you through it, I'm sure. So United States driver's license. Um, and then it's going to ask you to allow your webcam to have access because you're going to do it right there through your webcam. So you're going to click this button right here and it will give you the option to allow, which will be up in this corner here on your computer. You're going to click that button and then you're going to scan in uh, by holding your license up to the thing like this. You're going to scan the front and you're going to scan the back and then you're going to process it and you're going to get this. If everything goes right, then it's going to tell you that it's been verified. And it will look like this. Congratulations, you have one verified document. Now, it wasn't that easy for me. Um, for whatever reason, the pictures that I was taking wasn't, it was too much glare or I don't know. So I took a couple pictures with my camera, uploaded them to my computer, went back in and um, verify, clicked on the verify my identity through verifications and did it that way. But if you have a problem where you have to do it that way, then you can contact me. Otherwise you can do it the way that I just showed you. Um, so once you've done that, then you can add your account information. Now when you are funding with a Visa and a MasterCard, then there is a 3.75% um, Fee. It's a convenience fee. So you put your name in that the way it appears on your credit card. You enter your credit card information. Make sure your address here is right. This isn't my correct address, so I had to go around that a little bit and put my correct address in. Um, and then you push the next button. And what you're going to have to do here is wait. I only had to wait for maybe 30 minutes. Then go to your bank account because my credit card debit card is linked to my checking account. Um, go over and there's going to be two transactions. And what you'll do is just put those numbers right in here to verify that it's linked to your account. And then um, verify charge numbers and then it'll be verified right here. So now, once you're to this point where your identification has been verified and your... Um, your bank account that you've linked has been um, verified, then you are going to be ready to fund your account and take it from Bit, uh, Coinbase to blockchain 
and then over to the matrix. So go ahead and get these steps done quickly and be ready to go when it's launch day. Hope you have a fantastic day. And if you have any problems, find me um, and I'll be glad to help you.